Welcome to Wine Time. I'm Larry Schroeder and it's my pleasure to be your host today. We're standing in a field overlooking the vineyards of Stony Run Winery in northeastern Berks County. Today we're going to be talking about harvest, how we decide when it's time to harvest, what the different harvest methods are, and show you some of the results of our harvest this year in 2022. We've come a long way in Pennsylvania viticulture. Originally, the plant material to plant Pennsylvania's vineyards came from California, where the weather is sunny, hot, and the plants were selected on their ability to ripen slowly and maintain their acidity. These conditions don't exist in Pennsylvania, and so the, the wines were generally difficult to make because the grapes were frequently unripe. Now that we're sourcing our plant material from France, which has a very similar climate and weather to, uh, to Pennsylvania, we're able to make French style wines that are as good, or I think better, than the French themselves. Almost 300 years ago, Thomas Penn thought the same thing. He purchased the valley just beyond our vineyards and named, uh, named it Vineyard Manor. It was 2,000 acres of farmland that he was sure was gonna grow grapes as well as Bordeaux. Unfortunately, he didn't count on the phylloxera louse, which killed the grapes as quickly as they grew. Now, 290 years later, that problem has been solved and we are growing Bordeaux varieties. And in my opinion, they're getting close to the quality that we're seeing in France. There are two main methods of picking grapes. We can pick them by hand or we can pick them by machine. Hand harvest has certain benefits because it allows you to sort the grapes in the vineyard and only pick the best ones for the wine. Machine picking generally picks all the grapes that are there, and so in the past has been considered less quality. But with modern technology and the ability of these machines to clean up the grapes, the machine pickers now have their place and they can sometimes give you better quality than hand picking. When we need to get the crop off quickly because there's a hurricane coming or because we have a lot of volume that needs to get into the winery quickly, we turn to the machine. Our New Holland 9090X is state of the art and can pick as much in an hour as 10 men can pick all day. Our grape picker straddles the trellis and the posts and the grapes come down through the middle. And as they come along, these picking bows vibrate the plant and shake the grapes and the clusters off the plant and they're caught in the cups at the bottom which seal around the posts as the machine runs and then transports the clusters and the grapes and any juice that comes along up to the top where it drops it through an airstream and removes all of the, the leaves and other debris and returns just grapes and clusters to the bin. As you can see, harvest is now finished and the plants are slowly getting ready for their dormant stage. The red grapes will turn their leaves red while the white grapes turn yellow. We've had a wonderful year this year. This is a vintage for the record books, and it just underscores why Southeast Pennsylvania is one of the great places to grow grapes. It's been three weeks since we hand harvested our Merlot. It's gone through fermentation, and we pressed it off the skins, and now it's resting, waiting to go into barrel. Let's go take a look. When we're deciding when to harvest, we look at three different factors. The pH, the total acidity, and the sugar content of the grapes. Most years, we're happy if we can get two of those parameters in the sweet spot. In 2022, we were able to get all three of those numbers to, to meet up at the same time, which promises an exceptional vintage. The concentration of the fruit has been excellent. The flavors are really good. This Merlot is going to spend the, the next year in barrel and then two years in bottle. And in 2025, we'll pop a cork and we'll see how well we did this year. Thank you for watching Wine Time and joining us as we feature Pennsylvania as the next emerging wine region.